The abolition movement began at the beginning of the Jackson years. This movement was created to end American slavery. People had been for abolition for many, many years, but nothing effectively took place until the 1820s and 1830s. The abolition movement kicked off with David Walker's publication of The Appeal. Walker's publication urged slaves to rebel against their owners and to create their own freedom. This scared Americans as they did not know what was to come. The next abolition catalyst was The Liberator, written by William Lloyd Garrison. This newspaper was somewhat different from Walker's works. Garrison used a more religious approach in trying to free slaves. He pretty much preached that slavery was wrong and a sin. Another abolitionist was Nat Turner. Turner got his ideas from the Liberator and thought that he would be qualified enough to run his own slave rebellion. It took about a week before Turner was captured by the Virginia militia and was executed. All of these attempts led to the passing of slave codes, which kept slaves from being taught how to read and write. Slave patrols were set up to ride around and check on slaves at night. A new abolitionist came into play in the 1840s. A runaway slave named Frederick Douglass became an abolitionist speaker. From his experience, Douglass was able to speak about his personal slave life. He was born half white, but since his mother was a slave, he automatically became one. Douglas did not have a kind master, so he decided to run away. He ended up in Boston, where he met William Garrison. Being a fugitive, he had to leave the country. Isabella Bontfrey was one of the first women abolitionist speakers. She was most famous by her pen name, Sojourner Truth. She spoke more about the mistreatment of women in general. To her, it was just as great as of an issue as slavery. A major milestone in slave history for the abolition movement was the Underground Railroad. It was not an actual railroad, but just a group of abolitionists who tried to get slaves across the Mason-Dixon line and into Canada. Harriet Tubman was famous for being a conductor of the Underground Railroad. This just meant that she personally went to the South to escort slaves. Although this effort had great intentions, not enough slaves were free to make much difference. One of the most crucial developmental sources was the publication of Uncle Tom's Cabin. This fictional novel was written by Harriet Beecher Stowe. It was based off of newspaper reports of real occurrences in various slave lives. It spoke of how cruel some slaveholders treated their slaves. This novel swept the nation and caught the attention of many Northerners. This sped up the abolition movement so much that when Abraham Lincoln met Stowe in person, he commented, so you're the little lady that started this great war. The argument of slavery continued on for many years. People didn't ever think much of the abolitionists until the groups began to grow. Slavery ultimately came to an end when the North defeated the South in the Civil War.